Today, I've put together 16 teams of major award winners from the same season. The MVP, Rookie of the Year, as well, Most Improved Defensive Player, and Six Man of the Year make up each squad. I limited multi-time MVP winners to just one team each, as well, there's no teams from prior to 1983, as that's when more awards were introduced. From there, I narrowed our field down to just 16 teams by eliminating years that wouldn't be very competitive, or honestly, that were just too boring. I randomized the teams into two conferences, simulated one full regular season, took those standings and slapped them onto our bracket one through eight on either side represented by their mvp single elimination as per usual let's get to it man let's go oh and uh shout out to my guy treyway who left a comment suggesting this idea our first matchup from the left side of the bracket 1993 taking on the most recent team 2023 charles barkley won mvp in 93 and leads the squad hakeem won his first of two straight dpoys Shaq had an unreal rookie season mahmoud abdul raouf won most improved and cliff robinson was six man last season as we know joel took home mvp paulo rookie of the year jaron was dpoy Lori had a monster most improved season and spoiler alert this won't be the only time we see malcolm brogdon in this video i fired up the first simulation of our video wondering if we might see a nice little one verse eight upset or possibly a blowout no 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 blowout uh no close game either but uh that's tough 90 85 the final for chuck's 93 squad he led the way with 29 21 and six nice while Joel had a solid showing, but only shot 9 of 20 from the field, that's not good enough. And obviously, as you could see there, only the five award winners per team are playing. All 48 minutes, I also turned fatigue off. Up next, a 4-5 matchup featuring award winners from 1990, taking on 2019. The final of three MVPs won by Magic Johnson. David Robinson had probably the greatest rookie season ever. Dennis Rodman, pre-Bulls DPOY, Ronnie Seekley, and Ricky Pierce are solid enough. Giannis won his first of two MVPs in 2019. He's got rookie Luca, screen assist merchant Rudy Gobert, spin merchant Pascal Siakam, and lemon pepper wings Lou Will. I'm not going to lie, we're going to see a lot of interesting and really good teams here. That Magic Johnson rookie David Robinson duo might be the best on any team in this video. And we are 0 for 2 to start the video on getting a clutch or even close to clutch finish. This one was a pure blowout. 1990. Wow. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The David Robinson Magic Johnson triple double. That was a good duo, but Ricky Pierce leading the way in scoring this 1990 squad is tough we'd next get a matchup between 2001 and 2018 nice to see mvp iverson having some success in this vid alongside two teammates dpoy dikembe mutombo six man aaron mckee while tracy mcgrady and mike miller both from the magic round out the squad back in 2018 james harden finally grabbed his mvp while ben simmons controversially took home rookie of the year rudy gobert is back lou will is back and good to see prime victor oladipo he was a dog okay and we do indeed get our first clutch finish of the video the three seeded iverson 01 winners taking on the six seed 2018 winners led by mvp harden ai just put his squad up by five can james answer ai and t-mac well they might be the best duo of the video mike miller getting stuck finds ai cutting down below yo james harden can't defend that though if 2018 doesn't find a bucket here i'm gonna seriously doubt their ability to win this game harden on the wing working on iverson double comes he kicks it out lou will that's a slow jumper nope. and lou will bricks it that's so tough oh my my word yeah yeah the best duo in this video my bad iverson and mcgrady with a 52 point triple double yeah james harden did his thing 38 7 and 12 but in a loss the final matchup on the left side of our bracket 2008 taking on 2016 kobe bryant finally won his mvp in 08 and he's joined by prime dpoy kevin garnett another great duo rookie of the year kevin durant most improved hito turkaloo and six man manu ginobili yo that is a squad 2016 unanimous mvp steph uh-huh. Rookie Cat. DPOY Kawhi. Nice. Most improved CJ McCollum. Six-man Jamal Crawford. This team is probably way too small. I had serious concerns after listing Steph's 2016 award winners roster, but instead, him and his boys showed out against Kobe's 08 crew. Okay. Okay. Yo, clutch finish. Bruh, this is tough. Either way, we're losing us. Steph Curry or Kobe Bryant. The stands for either player are going to be so sad. Good bucket by Kobe. I don't think Steph's 2016 award winners will be able to get a stop in in the clutch they've got some small people some poor defenders cj getting boxed by kobe yeah i mean look at this cj mccollum is now on kobe on the other end kobe goes by him unnecessary spin move hangs and hits yep that's a uh, prime mamba at work 2016 in 
indeed shot so many threes and obviously it kept them close. But in the end, a nice triple-double from Kobe, a big player too in the clutch. And Steph's 37-11 performance goes to waste. Today, an experiment. The camera hidden in the grass represents underdog fantasy, while the approaching beast represents the avid sports fan. W wait, no, that's this dog. She just cannot play a lot. Wait a minute. Oh, I get it. Because the camera represents underdog when he was the avid sports fan. That's clever. Yep, she just, she couldn't get enough. Are you stupid? Shout out to my friends at Underdog Fantasy, the real MVP of the basketball season for sponsoring this video. Like that weird guy earlier referenced, uh, Underdog is truly the best place for any avid sports fan. From personal experience, let me tell you, nothing ratchets up the intensity of watching any random NBA game like putting together a pick'em entry on Underdog. For example, at the time of this recording, I could have picked the higher on Triple J's points, the higher on Walker Kessler's rebounds, and lower on Jordan Clarkson's turnovers, just to sprinkle in some zest to watching Jazz Grizzlies. An awesome feature on Underdog I'll, I'll show here, I could also ensure that pick'em entry, meaning if I went two for three on predictions, I'd still walk away a winner. Right now, new customers on Underdog get their first deposit matched up to $500 and ahead of week nine in the NFL, the choice between one of three mystery pick'em specials. It's so nice. There has never been a better time to sign up for Underdog Fantasy than right now. Use my code JCAN, that's J-A-Y-C-A-N, link is down below. And through the first batch of games on the left side of our bracket, the one, two, three, four seeds advance. I guess 2K nailed the simulation. Also 2019, 2018, 2016 eliminated? Where's my modern day teams at? Like, come on. On to the first matchup of the right side of our bracket, 2011 taking on 2006. It's no surprise they were the one seed 2011. MVP D Rose alongside rookie Blake Griffin, stud, prime Dwight Howard, super stud, most improved Kevin Love, and six man Lamar Odom. Yep, that's a, that's a good little team. 2006, I fear my guy Steve Nash is going to get washed. Rookie of the year CP3 is with him as well. Teammate Boris Diaw, another Mike Miller sighting, and DPOY Ben Wallace. I feel like I always include Steve Nash in these videos because he won MVPs. He was all NBA. Anyways, uh, yeah, it never goes well for any of his teams. And I thought I might have reverse jinxed this into being the exception. Uh, no, no. 2006 was close for a minute and then they got blown out by 20. Steve, no, he just doesn't simulate. Yo, Chris Paul shot seven of 20. What is rookie Chris Paul shooting 25 times for? Next up, we've got 2003 taking on 2013. 03 led by two-time MVP Tim Duncan, rookie Amari Stoudemire, another DPOY Ben Wallace, most improved Gilbert Arenas, and sixth man Bobby Jackson. A decade later, 2013, of course, LeBron's fourth MVP win. Marcus Gasol stole his DPOY. Dame won rookie of the year. Paul George most improved. JR six man, this low-key a nice squad. This was the four versus five matchup on the right side of our bracket, so I assumed at least we'd find ourselves with a clutch finish. Okay, all right, I got my clutch finish. JR Smith inside, missing. That does not help. Tim Duncan and the 03 award winners are down six. They got to go right here, right now. Ben Wallace was open on the three-point line. I understand why Gilbert didn't pass it, but he bricks the open three on his own. What is this offense? LeBron is not involved. Paul George forcing up a three and missing. It is still very much open for 03. Bobby Jackson, uh, Jackson pulling up. He missed. Marcus Gasol on the board. A bit of an anticlimactic finish in the clutch. Unless something chaotic happens here, Miami uh, 2013 can just hit free throws. And that's exactly what they did to close this thing out. A four point win. Usually Tim Duncan is a monster in these sims. I mean, he played okay. But LeBron led his team, man. 36, 14, 11, 17 of 22 shooting. Wow. Our next matchup, finally a current day juggernaut from the regular season sim. 2022 taking on 2007. 2022, Jokic's second straight MVP. Scotty Barnes, rookie of the year. Marcus Smat, DPOY. John Morant won most improved. Hero, six man. It is a very balanced squad. Well, back in 07, Dirk Nowitzki won MVP. He's teamed with rookie Brandon Roy, DPOY Marcus Camby, most improved Monte, six man Barbosa. That's a lot of speed in the backcourt. But unfortunately, not enough shot making or, or apparently defense. Uh, yeah. A 20 point win for Jokic's 2022 squad, highlighted by a monster 50 point fourth quarter. And uh, speaking of monsters, Nikola Jokic, 44, 21, and 18. What? Yo, Dirk dropped 54 and 15 in a loss. I love these stat lines, man. And finally, our last first round matchup, 1996, taking on 2017. 96 was the season I chose for MVP Michael Jordan. He'll actually play the three as Gary Payton and Damon Stoudemire are in the backcourt. Tony Kukoc and George Murazan up front. Nice. Can the glove hold MVP Russell Westbrook on the other side? He's joined by DPO. Draymond, most improved Giannis, six-man Eric Gordon,
Gordon and 10 point to game rookie of the year, Malcolm Brogdon. Okay, and because I know there's going to be a lot of questions about it. If you go year by year through Michael Jordan's five MVP winning seasons, 1996 was the only one that made sense in terms of a five man unit that I could put together for this video. It's kind of crazy, actually. Oh no, but the Jordan stands are going to be at my neck if he's first round eliminated down low to team at Stoudemire. He missed and the tip is no good. I promise, man. MJ won awards at a time when the league was handing out most of their awards to big man Russell Westbrook in the clutch for three. Most improved Giannis. Only like an 88 overall coming back down over to Russ who misses. Giannis is on the glass. Oh my word. Where's the defense? Eric Gordon with a dagger. Oh yeah, that's right. Russ, Malcolm Brogdon, Eric Gordon. So this is a small team as well. The uh, 27... So I'm so I'm sorry. What am I watching? <laughs> Russell Westbrook is pulling and hitting everything. And in my complete defense, MJ's 96 award winner still simulated to being a two seed on our bracket, but it didn't matter. They got washed in the clutch by 2017. And I promised we'd have some upsets. And there you go on the right side of our bracket. The one seed 2011 crew advances, but the five seed 2013 winners advance 2022, a three seed. Okay. But the 2017 award winners were a seven seed. Just like that, we've got an elite eight. We've got no Michael Jordan, unfortunately, but uh, let's rock it through these four matchups, pare it down even more. And we'll start with the 1 4 matchup on the left side of our bracket. The first seeded 93 crew with Chuck Hakeem Young Shaq, okay, against Magic uh, David Robinson. Definitely not the best duo, but uh, very good. I stand kind of by what I said earlier. There's a definite problem for the 1990 Magic Johnson led award winners. They have zero shooting. Uh, maybe Ricky Pierce, but no, not great. Okay, I fear I may have over overlooked that uh, 1993 not a whole lot of shooting either uh, anyways it's a tight game 93 is up six it's a low scoring game rookie admiral over rookie Shaq misses Ronnie Seekley on the glass putting it back up and in over DPOY Hakeem 93 is uh they're gonna use their MVP here looks like it. yeah Chuck on the low block working on Dennis Rodman Dennis Rodman, small, one deep POI, but it doesn't matter. We're seeing buckets here in the clutch. I mean, excuse me for thinking some of the greatest defensive players ever uh, on the court right now could get some stops. It's not happening. Magic, you should not get stopped. Okay, Magic is not looking to score. David Robinson taking every shot. He's one for three. I don't love it. 1990 elected to foul with 45 seconds left. It makes no sense. A low-key disaster class in the clutch. Neither team shot the ball at all from deep, but 93 was just better. Hey, a low-key, I'm disappointed in Magic. Magic. Yeah, 20 and 13, just not good enough in this scenario. From a battle between two 1990s award-winning seasons, we move to the 2000s where MVP AI is taking on MVP Kobe Bryant. T-Mac is on one side, Kevin Garnett on the other. A lot of star power. I had high hopes for Kobe and the boys after their dominant first game performance, but uh, this one did not go the same way. What am I seeing? I huh, Yo, this one wasn't even close. It's not, it, th that's a blowout. What is that? What? Kevin Durant, rookie, 36 point. Kobe was pretty good facilitating. Did T-Mac drop that? They both dropped 40 plus. Allen Iverson had almost 50. Um, you guys are f***ing insane. Maybe all Allen Iverson needed was prime Tracy McGrady alongside him. And that almost happened way back when. Anyways, 2011 versus 2013 prime MVP D Rose against LeBron. Okay, I love this matchup. Both MVP winners have a really good co-star. Dwight Howard for D Rose. Paul George for LeBron. I like it. 2013. 13 out to a big lead early. Oh, but 2011 made a push. They came right back in this game. It is a two point game, just over a minute left. I do have LeBron on this roster playing the floor, uh, playing the four, going up against Blake Griffin. Uh, Blake Loki clamping. That was a good look, LeBron. You should have made it. And 2011 is super big. Kevin Love is playing small forward. I love some of the. What? Off illegal screen, Dwight. What are you doing? That ain't nobody business. Okay, I'm going to stop talking about the rosters. Uh, they're wild everywhere. They just got a ball out, though, at this point rookie Dame. JR is wide open. That is such great offense, man. It was a good run for 2011. Well, they won a single game. Thought they would go further, but uh, yeah, couldn't get it done in the clutch. Oh, look at the balance for 2013. Paul George. Yeah, LeBron triple-double. JR the dagger in the clutch. They're a good squad. And our final Elite Eight game 2022. Does Jokic go for like, I don't, like a 60-point triple-double, 20 assists? I, I, I don't know. Can Russ match him is the question. The original triple-double king. Let's 
let's get it. Uh-oh, uh-oh, 2022 has the lead. Wait, 2017 is back. Oh, we've got a clutch finish. 2022 might be choking this one in the fourth. Okay, no, let me show some respect. All right, nobody's choking. It's just a tight game between two very good teams. Remember, 2017 was a seven seed, so they are playing above their punching weight here. <laughs> Russ just keeps shooting threes. Finally, we see a miss one this video. A couple good possessions here. Oh my, we're John Ranch is blue by Russell Westbrook. Yo, that was not even fair. The only thing is, I was going to say a couple good possessions from 2022 to kill clock. John Morant scored so quickly, but uh, two points is two points. This man, Russ. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Like we know Russ has a 99 shot tendency. This is prime Russ too, but his three point eight up to 89. That is way too high. No wonder he's chucking threes. To be completely fair to MVP Russ, it worked for him during the 2017 season. It worked in the debut game he had in this video, but uh, in this one, my man's needed to stop chucking. I can't lie. It was a pretty accurate representation of even prime Russell Westbrook. He shot 10 of 29. And, uh, shot his team out of it in the clutch. Well, Nikola Jokic, you know, he dialed it back a bit. 40 points still, but only 13 rebounds, nine assists. Uh, yeah, another masterclass. And in reverse order of what you just saw, 2022, the three seed does win the bottom right region. 2013, a five seed low key upset wins the top right region. 2001, AI T Mac. Man, they are amazing in the bottom left region. And 1993, led by Prime Charles Barkley, wins the top left region. And all that has led to a final four with all some diversity. I mean, we've got a one, two, three seeds, and a five, plus all four decades that are in this video are represented. I mean, that's just beautiful. Our first final four matchup, the one seed 93 award winners, MVP Charles Barkley, DPOY Hakeem, rookie Shaq, uh, Mohamed Abdul Rauf at point guard. Cliff Robinson is not a shooting guard. I've got him playing there. Uh, somehow it's worked. And I can't lie, 2001, I am shocked at how well they played Allen Iverson MVP, most improved T-Mac, like 295 overalls, I get it. But after that, their depth is just not that impressive. But if these two go for 40 plus again, anything can happen. I said anything could happen. And at this point, it would be dumb for anyone to suggest this 0-1 team isn't made of some of that special stuff. As yeah, man, they might just have the magic. All right, they're on the road. They are the underdog on paper. They are up five in the clutch. Can they get stops? Yeah, they're going to use their MVP. Charles Barkley is playing small forward. He's got a matchup against T-Mac post fade. He misses what? 2001. I need to see y'all get a bucket here. Right here, right now. Your lead is down to three. Hakeem with a massive block. Aaron McKee. <laughs> Aaron McKee. Why would he shoot that right away? Oh my word. What a sequence. And often is the problem with teams from the 90s. They just can't shoot threes when they need them. One for 14. 1993 was an ugly game all around. Tracy McGrady, 36 and 12. Allen Iverson, 27, 7 and 4. They just showed they can win an ugly game, dude. I don't suspect we'll have a similarly ugly match matchup in our other final four game 2022 led by Jokic, Morant, Hero, Barnes, Marcus, Smart. They've uh, they've just got a balanced team. Nobody playing wildly out of position. That's probably why it works. And actually same can be said for 2013. I do have LeBron playing at power forward, but come on, that's not unusual. Paul George, Marcus Soul, just a lot of balance. Rookie Dame Lillard, JR hitting clutch shots. Let's go. Oh yes, sir. The script is cooking right now. It's a five point game, but neither team has played a lick of defense defense in this game, as you can see by the score. So I am ready. Anything can happen here down the stretch. Dame going to work. Dame working off a screen from Mark. Oh, that's actually a good shot. He misses, but Mark is right there. Shoot it, Mark. Wait a minute. He kicked it out. Paul George. No, Mark, you should have just gone up for the layup. That would have been an easy two. I know Paul George was open, but they might come to regret that. Can they get... What is Ja Morant doing? My God, Jokic on the glass, and he goes back up with it like a big man should. Uh-oh. Oh, 2013, you might have a shot here if Ja indeed does have a bad case of the Russell Westbrooks, okay? LeBron is not involved at all in these clutch situations. 82 overall, Dame. That is not good. That is a tough shot. What, LeBron, what are you doing? Okay, Marcus Smart did miss a free throw. He missed one, so this is officially the last chance. A quick three from you, 2013, or this game's over. I'm saying it right now. A quick three or this game is over. There you go, Paul. J there you go. It was all part of the plan. I'm like a coaching genius. I should be coaching this team. Okay, I'm still coaching this 2013 team. Um, do the do the same thing. Uh, just get a wide open three, shoot it right away. Preferably Paul George or J.R. Smith feet behind the line. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's not it's not my fault. I'm 
just the coach. I'm not the one playing. Jokic, oh my. I, I was joking about that earlier. 56, 19, and 12. My guy just keeps getting better. Well, for 2013, LeBron. I, uh, LeBron's stat lines are cool, but that's not a 50-point triple-double like Jokic. And he wasn't involved in the clutch for some reason. And after all that chaos, lots of up and downs, we are into the final game, the championship game of our video with a pair of three seeds, 2001 versus 2022. And I can't lie. Um, I know most people say this about most things in their videos. I am legitimately shocked at this outcome. No LeBron, no Michael, no Kobe. It's Jokic versus at that, that Allen Iverson. It just, it's crazy. Okay. Okay. It's 2001. That's really throwing me for a loop because Dikembe, Mike Miller, Aaron McKee are not very good around the two stars. There are so many better teams. Plus I have Mike Miller playing power forward. It just makes no sense. And again, I'll echo what I said about 2022. They do make much more sense. They are very balanced positionally. Jokic, Morant, two legit stars. Okay. I forgot both these teams are three seeds. So we're going to flip a coin for home court. 2001 is heads. Okay. And that is heads right there. We are flipping and it is indeed heads. 2001 home court advantage. At the end of the day, all I wanted to close out this video between two great teams was a clutch epic finish. Would we get it in the final? Ah, okay. We got it. We got it. We got it. I'm, <laughs> I, yes. I'm so glad. All right. Clutch finish incoming. 2022 has a two point lead. 90 seconds left. Both teams have timeouts. They've got bonus situations. AI with a clutch shot from the elbow. We love to see it. MVP Allen Iverson is taking the reins for 01. He gets another clean look. Yeah. Allen Iverson wants this win. Okay. Okay. John Morant hit a pair of free throws, tied the game back up. We've got, uh, oh no, this is not what you wanted. The clutch. No, Aaron, why were you? No, no. Jokic totally just missed a wide open Marcus Smart. Okay. All right. Jokic is a genius. He knows what he's doing. Inside Scotty Barnes misses. Oh no. Do we get overtime or do we have a game winner? Does AI and the uh, 01 award winners, do they kill the clock here? I have so many questions. They are killing the clock. AI, get, get out of here, T-Mac. This is AI's team. He wants it. He wants the game winner. Going inside over Jokic nope. and he missed it. No. I skipped ahead. We really didn't miss anything. It is still a tie game now. 90 seconds left in OT. Mike Miller backdoor. Great find from Allen Iverson. Okay. He's been so good today. Each time I've seen him, John Morant getting doubled. Tyler Hero contested. Oh, okay. Yeah, that is a huge shot. T-Mac, you better not give this rock up because you are not getting it back. He's going to take a screen from Dikembe. He is going to get a hesitant double. Okay, 2022. Good defense. AI forced into a contested jumper. He finally misses one. Oh, one is out of timeouts which is important here. Tyler Hero does not miss a free throw. If they're going to keep going twos and fouls here, they have to go super quick or, you know, maybe try and shoot a three here. Hey, Allen, maybe try and use that guy. What are you doing? <laughs> Iverson is simply the GOAT. I have no- What in the world? This is an insane masterclass in the clutch. Allen Iverson has a player we know. He has scored 50 points in this video, Tracy McGrady, and he won't let him get a touch. Okay, here it is. Game winner, 2022. John Morant, not going to Jokic, pulling up for three. John Morant with the shot of the video. Up three, T-Mac full court, and it hits rim, but no good. Back to back, insanely clutch shot. I cannot believe that shot making down the stretch, but in OT 2022, the second most recent team in the video, they finish off a flawless run through our bracket and indeed are the champions of our award winners battle. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Usually I end the video with all that momentum, show you the result, but I just have to Allen Iverson, 53 points, T-Mac 42 and 15. What a dominant dynamic duo. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. And on the other side, John Morant, including that game winner, 42 points, Jokic 36 and 19, but it was really Jaw who carried. But uh, anyways, let me know what you thought of that video. I am surprised at the outcome, like genuinely. Which year did you think would win based on their award winners? And uh, yeah, like the video. Give me other suggestions for stuff you might like to see.